So yeah, been thinking a lot about my order and I'm um, having a little bit of remorse. And um, it doesn't help that it's, you know, time it seems to be coming to a halt. You know, it goes so slow waiting for, you know, the, the car to come along. It hasn't even hit production yet. And the more and more time that passes, you start realizing or start thinking about you know what you should have done different what options you know you should have uh, chosen and I do have a little bit of remorse I think I should have went with the at least the 60 D um, giving that 11 Chicago and the weather you know it's not always very pleasant to say the least you know the addition of mortar could have been very helpful I would I would say um, yeah another thing I should have did was I uh, should have visited one of the uh, showrooms to not only see the car because I have never seen one in person <laughs> um, I should have sat in one I should have compared all the different trims um, to see what they look like I should have did that but I didn't and another thing I kind of regret not getting is the the weather package I'm like I said it gets cold and yeah it gets cold so it would be nice to be able to warm up the cabin a little bit more you know the steering wheel the the wipers, the, the additional seats and whatnot. Uh, would have been cool to do that. So what do you guys think? Should I uh, reconfigure the vehicle? It would cost me $500. That's what Tesla charges. If you've uh, already finalized your order and after the seven days from ordering, you decide to make any changes and reconfigure your vehicle, Tesla charges you $500 to do that. But it may be worth it instead of going back and after receiving the vehicle, you uh, have regrets, right? So what do you guys think? Should I go ahead and do that? Should I pay the $500 and reconfigure the vehicle at the uh, dual motors and any of the other options? I should do it. I don't know. Thinking about it. Um... My vehicle still isn't in production, so Jeep is loud. Yeah, the vehicle, my vehicle wasn't in production yet. It's still, uh, it's still in limbo from order. So it would be nice if Tesla would uh, allow you to make changes even you know before production. Uh, grant, you know, giving that the vehicle hasn't been assembled yet, but. Who really knows the inner workings, right, of, of Tesla and what's what's going on that forces them to charge you a reconfiguration fee? But who knows? So yeah, let me let me know what you guys think. Should I go ahead and uh, make changes? Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. What do you guys think? Also, uh, Tesla's closing down their factory in California for about a week. Um, I believe it's this week word on the street is that they're going to be preparing for production for the Tesla Model 3. They're doing a uh, small run of the vehicle for, I don't know, for testing purposes, I suppose. Um, but what they've also done in the past is that when they do that, they sometimes also uh, make changes to their Model S and X. So I'm curious to see what else they might do to the S um, which is pretty good news because if let's say they make some drastic change to the Model S and my car hasn't reached um, manufacturing then they may implement that change to my vehicle free of charge which would be cool because 
I would hate to get a car and then, um, you know, a month later or whatnot, the car is now obsolete because of a drastic change. And I know, you know, Elon Musk has said in the past that this is not the car you want to own if you're worried about, you know, being out of date because they've, he will continue to make changes to the car. But it will be cool if, uh, you know, they make a, a change and it benefits me. It will be nice to see that. So let me guys let me know what you guys think. Uh, to reconfigure the car, leave it as it is, and not worry about anything else. I'm sure I'll be happy either way, but the dual motor will be cool. Um, also, should I go test drive a Tesla? I was trying to avoid seeing one in person and riding and driving in one for the mere sake of uh, you know the, the, the surprise effect. Um, you know delivery on delivery just be the first time I see one in person first time I drive one it'd be cool but what do you guys think should I schedule a test drive and go check out the different you know trims available um, what do you guys think so yeah thanks for watching please subscribe if you're in the market for a Tesla um, please use my 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 code for referral my referral code for a thousand dollars off um, it would be advantageous for you, I think, to save a thousand dollars. So yeah, use the code is on my description, and I'll see you guys soon for the next video of my Tesla journey. See you guys later. Came out of work and uh, decided to swing by the Tesla store. I know it's closed, but the addiction is real, my friends. The addiction is real. Let's see what we can see through the doors here. I guess the vehicle stays on overnight. <laughs> pretty cool got the little Tesla car down there merchandise on the wall this is the Chicago location oh someone's inside hi let me in I guess back there is where you design oh they got the um different uh, headliners colors and stuff back there on the wall you can see it it's a small it's a small shop I thought it would be bigger than this but with the hours of operation it is currently 9:15, so I missed it by about three hours <laughs> now wouldn't it be cool to have that in your garage I think so. And I'm guessing this is a service center. Inside there. Very cool. Yeah, one day. One day. And I'm low on fuel. Can't wait to stop worrying about that. Talk about fuel anxiety.